true Messiah will destroy the false Messiah. And when that happens, then a Muslim army will liberate the Holy Land. The Prophet said, when you see the black flags coming from the direction of Khurasan, go and join that army. That army has already started its march. They know it. And that's why they demonize as a terrorist anyone, anyone who supports that army. That army will liberate every single territory in a straight line until it reaches Jerusalem, said Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam. At the heart of Khorasan is Afghanistan. And that's why they've occupied Afghanistan. <laughs> yes. When an army liberates every territory on its way to Jerusalem, there will be in that army Imam al-Mahdi. And so the liberation from oppression in the Holy Land is not going to come about through any negotiations conducted by Condoleezza Rice. <laughs> the liberation from oppression in the Holy Land will come about, said Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, because of an armed response to oppression. The moral law is the highest law, higher than the United Nations Security Council. The moral law is that you have the right to respond to oppression. And if you cannot see oppression in the Holy Land, you're blind. And so history ends. History ends from the perspective of Islam with the truth triumphant over falsehood for the last time, with events unfolding in the Holy Land, with the true Messiah returning, and the true Messiah liberating the Holy Land, and the Holy State of Israel, the one built on the truth of the religion of Abraham, that Israel will be restored, not this imposter. This imposter will go down into the garbage bin of history. That holy state of Israel will be restored. And that holy state of Israel will become the ruling state of the world. And the true religion of Abraham will triumph in the world. And so truth will triumph. And this will be the validation of Islam's claim to truth. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may bless all those who now take a little time Leave the television set for a moment and take a little time to ponder and to reflect. To use the thinking capacity, use the acumen that Allah gave to you to think. Use the, the blessed Quran, the guidance which came in the blessed Quran to seek to understand the world today. To seek to understand events that are so mysteriously unfolding. To seek to understand that end of history and then no longer to stand aside as a spectator but to join in the struggle for the triumph of truth over falsehood. Rabbana taqabbal minna inna ka anta sameeul alim wa tub alayna ya mawlana inna ka anta tawabu rahim wa rahmatika ya 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 rahmat